What's up everybody, this is Willie. Welcome back to Three Pedal Devils. Today we're doing another video on my 2003 Suzuki DRZ 400S. Same bike as Matt's, which is right there. And uh, I've got some pretty sweet parts for it. So today we are going to be installing my 3.7 or 3.9 gallon, I can't remember, a Kerbis larger fuel tank for this thing. Let's get right into it. Dang, son. Should hold some gas. So the reason I'm working on the DRZ so much and buying so many expensive parts for it is because in September, which is about eight, nine weeks from now, we are going to go on the Mid-Atlantic Backcountry Discovery Route. It's about 1,100 miles off-road, primarily through the Appalachian Mountains, through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Virginia. Should be a great time. I think just Matt and I are going with one of our coworkers. The other two boys don't really have the proper bike for it, unfortunately, but maybe we can get them to go on a BDR with us in the future. And uh, yeah, so I'm gearing this thing up to make it as adventure ready as possible. I've gone on a couple rides with this thing so far and have been pretty annoyed stopping for gas every 90 to 100 miles on the stock DRZ tank. So I picked up this Akurbis tank, cost me maybe $260. Pretty pricey, but also a nice product and should help me out. It should almost double my range, won't have to stop for gas until about 150, 175 miles, which should be a lot safer on the Mabder, um, lower the risk running out of gas. Some of the other parts I just got is this Tusk Excursion bagless, I guess, side bag system. Going rackless, gonna mount those up kind of back there, but I'm gonna keep this video focused on one thing. So today we're gonna stick to the Akurbis tank, but if you do wanna see that, that Tusk rackless system install. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, come back and check that one out. Should be pretty cool. And I'll probably do some reviews on this stuff after I get some more adventure rides in on it. Getting a little late start on this project, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to time lapse, start tearing the old uh, tank off the bike, and see if we can make some progress on this thing. Alrighty, well I got the old gas tank off, went a lot quicker than I thought it would actually. Uh, also lost the shirt because it's dumb hot. May or may not have had a little gas mishap, but uh, don't worry about that. What's up guy? Ooh, wow. Did you spend monies? Yeah, over a hundred bucks. <laughs> Harbor Freight runs are killer. You got the Icon ratchet. Nice. I spent 85 today. I went for one plastic box and I spent $85. Yeah, it was under a hundred bucks, and then I was like, oh, did you scan the icon tag? And he's like, no, I forgot to. And then he scanned it up, and it was 112. You good Samaritan, you. All right, I currently have no clue how to mount this. Off-road use only. That sounds like just a suggestion. Let's see what goodies we got in here. It's got three-step instructions. Should be pretty easy. All right, first step, I'm already taking L's. Step one says to insert the original overflow tube onto the cap. There is no original overflow tube because this is a DRZ 400S and had a locked gas cap, like most street legal bikes. This does say it's for DRZ 400S and SM, so it's not like I bought the wrong tank. They just didn't give me all the parts I need. Next step is to assemble the petcock. I've heard the petcock on this thing is pretty garbage, and just picking it up, I can already second that because the plastic feels not good. If it starts leaking, I might have to replace this, which kind of sucks when you buy a pretty expensive tank to have to buy a new petcock right away, even though this company makes good aftermarket petcocks that they also sell, so kind of a weird flex, but we'll see if it works. Another thing I just noticed about this garbage petcock is that it's not even a vacuum petcock. like this bike comes with from factory. So I might still install it and just plug the vacuum line that was going to the old petcock, but tanks made specifically for this bike could have just made the petcock bolt right up and hook right up to the old vacuum line like the original one, but here we are. It's not going well. Self-tapping plastic screws. How do you feel about that, Tit? Hey. So much. How is that gonna seal, honestly? Like there's just holes through the plastic. 
shitty self-tapping plastic screws and no o-rings for them. Okay, I'm on step two now. They want me to use bracket L and fasteners G, which are M6 by 10 button head cap screws, which they didn't supply any of in the kit. Even if you look at the rest of the parts list, fastener H is M6 by 30 socket head cap screw. They didn't provide any socket head cap screws in the kit. Doesn't even match their parts kit, so confusing. I think I've got all their parts on here now. Longer hex bolt with the big washer, the rubber boot, or the rubber grommet, and the little bushing on the bottom side of both of the mounting holes. Put this guy in, which is presumably the seat mount. And now we're going to throw it on. Hopefully it fits. Now we got to do a seat fitment check because wise guy over there said it's not going to fit. Well, it doesn't help that their brackets too long or too wide. I got the seat fitting now. I just had to grind off maybe an eighth inch or a quarter of an inch on the width of that little metal bracket for the front of the seat to clip into because it was not fitting in this seat that I have. Uh, it feels like the slope here is a little steeper than the stock tank because it's kind of rumpling up the material on here like it's bending a little bit too far but it fits so happy with that for now there we go a kerbis 3.7 gallon aftermarket gas tank for the drz fully installed um, did not fit great had to flex the panels quite a bit to get them to line up with the holes in the tank yeah, fitment wasn't great. The tank overall seems like it's pretty decent quality, but the kit as a whole could use some work, I'd say. But enough complaining, because that's all I've been doing this video. Let's fill it with gas, take it for a spin, see how it feels. Thanks for watching. Gonna go get some gas. Come back, check out the next one where I'm gonna put those Tusk Enduro? Endure? I'm gonna put those Tusk Rackless bags on. Catch you in the next one.